Welcome in the last section 9 in this course, testing and debugging. In the previous section we have learned how to get the data from the server and post the data to the server using Angular HTTP client. In this section at the beginning we will cover error messages. Then we will be debugging code using DevTools and at the end we will run some tests using Angular CLI. So in this video we'll be manually handling error messages. Error handling. In the previous section when we sent a request to the server and its response with an error, an error callback was called and we have a possibility to handle that error. But sometimes there are errors that we can't handle in the code by providing some error handlers. So go to the code editor and for example we can create a new property called temp HTTP and sometimes we do some mistakes. For example we can do this temp HTTP dot get and click on a button and as you can see on the console the error message appears but it's an error that we can't handle in the code by providing an error handler we have to fix that error manually it's our mistake and as we can see the error says cannot read property get of undefined which obviously means that we want to call a method on an temp HTTP which is an undefined. We also see that the error thrown on the line 27 in the app component. Also we see that it appears in the fetch new title method. So we can go there and we can fix that. Remove or something. So in this video we have learned that we can't handle each error in the application. Sometimes we have to do that manually. 